the halachas today of how to measure. Up until now, we're dealing with what measurements combine a city and what are the borders of the city. And today, we're going to begin the Mishnah on Nun Zayin Amit Beis. Today's daf is Nun Ches, uh, 58. And we're on 57 Amit Beis, uh, Beis 57B, uh, at the bottom in the Mishnah. The measurements made for, to get to the 2,000 Amma outside of a city to know where the border of a city uh, is, is going to be measured only with a 50 Amma rope. And that, and, and uh, no more, no less, and as Agmar is going to explain, that will give um, a uh, 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 systematic way to be able to measure the entire distance. And the measurement needs to be done in order for it to be consistent is going to be uh, done at the holding the rope against the chest. If, you, if he was measuring and he gets to um, a valley where he can't, where he, he can't just measure along the Incline, as Agmar is going to explain, that the incline is too steep to count the incline itself as a part of the distance because it's not easy to walk, or uh, we'll see how, how much that is. So uh, um, he's going to just go across that, Mavlio. So he's going to go across it, meaning he's going to stand at one side with the 50 Amarot and at the other side in the 50 Amarot and and and, and uh, as as long as the the um, the hole in the ground, this this valley, this this uh, crevice, uh, or whatever it may be, even a canyon, we'll see how deep it can be, um, it is less than fifty amos, which is about seventy five feet. He can get there. Now, if it's longer than that, the chazal it comes back to the measure, meaning it indicates the gemara is going to say that he can go off to the side where it's narrower and measure there and then come back to the, the, uh, the gap, to the um, uh, direct line from the city and the gap. Or the same is true for a gedder, for a collapsed wall, that he's just gonna measure over it with his rope. Because it comes back to the straight line that he is measuring, higia lahar. What happens if he gets to a, a mountain, a hill? Um, it's, it was something that that is uh, too steep to uh, to um, easily walk. So Mavalia again, he's going to go off to the side and measure because and then he can go back to the area that he's measuring, and that's going to count as sufficient. The Gemara is going to explain what. Uh, how how steep that is <clears throat> that he's going to um, be able to measure and and get back to the the area that he's going. But the idea is that he's in a fifty. He's using a fifty ama measurement, and uh, and 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 he's crossing each one of of the um, of these areas. You got a ninety foot rope, right? And you've got a now on Nukhas Amid Amid Aleph, but virtually it's a chutz tchum. Hello. However, the main thing is that he cannot cross the tchum. He cannot cross the the um, the um, tchum that if the if it was wider than two thousand amma, if it was wider than two thousand amma, um, then. Um, uh, uh, outside of the Tuchum, meaning away from 2,000 Amma from the city, then he doesn't measure it. And, we'll, and the Gemara is going to explain. If he can't do such a measure, I heard that we do a system called drilling through the mountain, meaning what they would do is they would use four Amma short ropes and somebody stands at the bottom of the mountain and holds the rope against his chest. And the next person stands four ama up and 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 holds the rope at, at his feet. And then you get four ama distance. And by doing so in short steps, that allows for 
uh, the for um, measuring the, the the drilling through the mountain, meaning me measuring the distance of the mountain without going using the incline as well. Yes, Mike. So, I mean, hello. I mean, there's there's yes. Yeah, so la so you're measuring lateral space, but when you're going up a mountain, you're measuring vertical space too. Is that is that right? No, or? we want to avoid the vertical space. We don't want. So what's the for, so what's the so when you're going up and you've got four amos and you're and you're measuring from from heart to foot. What what do you you you, you inevitably? I mean, part of part. I mean, there's an angle. You know, there's an angle of the rope going up the hill. Inevitably, you're, you're it measuring. Is, that's what that's the too. idea that you're doing it from the chest to the foot, which is approximately. Um, it flat, you know, basically get, keeping the rope flat so that you can avoid using incline. Uh huh. Okay, so you'd go up Mount Hood for four almost at a time. Um, I mean, yeah, theoretically. Okay, all right. Thank you. Yeah. Menonimi. So how do we know this? Amar Rav Yudam Rav, the Amar Kra Erech Hachotzer Mea Ba'ama Berech Hachamisha Bachamisha. The length of the uh, of the Mishkan uh, courtyard was a hundred ama. The width was fifty ama. And then it says Bachamisha in you in fifty. So what does it mean in fifty or with fifty? That you would use a 50 ama uh, measure to to tell you the width, and you use it twice to tell you the length. So you're using a 50 ama measure for the 50 by 100 courtyard. Amratur chevel shel chamishim ama medoy. In a, using a rope of 50 is what you're going to measure with. And what it says really that's the meaning of the, of, of that verse. Haimi boile lito chamishim elasav chamishim. We already said that we need that for something else. It's teaching us that you take 50, chamishim b'chamishim, you take the other 50 and you encircle the 50, meaning you square the 100 by 50 into a 70 by, uh, and change, to, by 70 by change, which is the karpef measurement, which we would uh, were talking about in so many different halachas here. MK in le mekro chamishim chamishim. So it should say 50 and 50, 50, 50. My chamishim b'chamishim, 50, in 50, Shema Zmina Tarti that teaches us both that you square off the 50 and with you, by encircling with another 50, and also you use a rope of 50 to measure. And obviously, as we as we were uh, learning all these things, these halachas are the Rabbanon, so this is in a smachta. This is just looking for a chacham, the chachamim when, when enacting the distance measuring, we're looking for a, a, a source in the Torah that, um, that they could, uh, um, uh, that could guide them, but it wasn't a, a, uh, a, a regular drash. This is not the uh, simple meaning or the um, general meaning of this verse. And uh, this is a, a, an asmachta support that they found for the teaching of having a, a uh, a, a, a rope, a what distance there should be a rope, and why do we need that? As the next Gemara is going to tell us, because if you don't have a consistent m manner of measuring, then you're actually going to get different distances um, in in uh, in different places. So it's got to be a 50 ama rope. So on 58 uh, uh, B and uh, 58A. Nun uh, Ches Amar Aleph, second section after the Gemara. Lo paches b'leyese tana le paches mepnei shemarme. You can't have a shorter rope because if you have short ropes, you can pull it really taut, and then you're going to gain more, and you're going to have a longer distance when measuring. V'leyese, you can't have a longer rope than fifty because if you have a hundred ama rope, hundred fifty ama rope, so you're not going to get it that taut. And it's going to sag a little in the middle, and then it's going to give you less distance. So therefore, it has to be consistent, a 50 ama rope, which you can keep taut uh, to some degree. Um, and that will be a consistent measure of that's the way you're going to measure 
that 2,000 Amma. Amar of Asi, and Moedin El Bechevel shall Apsakima. And you use a rope made out of this, this uh, uh, material called Apsakima. Uh, now, my Apsakima, what is this? Amar Abi Abba Nargila. My Nargila doesn't help. What, are, what is that? Amar Abi Akiv Dikla de Chad Navra. So, this is some of the um, vine. It's a twine made out of these, these vines or these fibers that are around a palm tree. And uh, that is, is uh, uh, stiffer and more likely to be a uh, consistent measure. Amar Yaakov, Ikedah, and those that say, my paskima, what does this mean? Amar Yaakov, Amar Yaakov, Amar Gila, Rabbi Yaakov, Amar Dikla, Chad Nava. Either way, the, it's the same measurement. Uh, it's just a question of um, who who said what uh, explanation um, was Nargila, was Rabbi Yaakov explaining Nargila, or was he explaining a paskima? Either way, it's this fiber around the tree. Tanya Rabbi Yeshiva Hanani. Rabbi Yeshiva Hanani said, In truth, what would be most appropriate for measure would be uh, um, uh, 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 oh, a chain, a chain link rope, a metal uh, chain link um, chain. However, however, we know that the Torah says um, uh, that there was a rope made of um, a, a rope measuring uh, a measuring uh, uh, device was in his hand. This is in Zachariah. So since over there it was he used a rope, so so to here we're gonna use a rope. So I said, wait, but it actually says it was a rod, a stick. It was a stick of measuring, uh, as it says in Yecheskel. It says, no, that's for the gates of the uh, the base of Mikdash, that's for the small measurements. Small measurements, there was a measuring stick, and there were various sticks in the base of Mikdash for measuring um, an ama, etc. But when we're dealing with long lengths like that, you're not gonna have a stick. You're not gonna carry uh, 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 um, a, a piece of wood, 50 ama, 75 feet. So that, uh, you're not gonna have a stick for that so that you need something that you can uh, collapse. And, and for that, you have a rope. Tani Rav Yosef Shlesha There are three halachas in regards to using a, a rope using a, a twine for something. Shel magag, of some type of seaweed. Um, Shel netzer, of a, a, a wicker, a, 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 a willow um, rope. Shel pishta, and a linen rope. Shel magag, lepara. Magag is not susceptible to tuma, and so for the red heifer, for the para aduma, in order to maintain its tahara, it has to be tohar, and, and they would bring it into the process of the uh, of the burning it and 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 using the ash water. Uh, so the uh, rope that they would use was of magag because it's not susceptible to tumah. The Tananas would learn kavsua b'chevel magag when a snua al gava marachta. So it, it was bound with the the um, the a rope of magag. And it was put uh, on the on top of its uh, pyre, on top of the the uh, uh, set up um, wood. Shel Natsarim, and the one of wicker, the sota that was used for uh, sota to uh, keep up her clothing um, at, um, uh, at her shoulders. The Tanat, as we learn, maybe chavel chavel mitzvah kosher lemalim edadel. And a rope was brought, and uh, it was it, it was bound above her breast to keep up her garment. And shel pishton, and the flax, uh, and the uh, uh, linen rope, limedida, that was measuring rope, and that's and these are um, pretty firm, uh, um, and and uh, more consistent in their their measure, so you can't really pull it. It's not going to be a, you wouldn't use, um, uh, you know, something rubbery or something uh, that, that, that it's elastic. 
because that's going to have more give and it's not going to be a consistent measure. Linen is pretty tough and firm and will give you a consistent measure. For the next part of the Gemara, we're going to see that there are, the Mishnah had said basically that you use a 50 yama rope to get across a, uh, an incline. However, what precisely uh, is the incline? How steep is it? And how deep is it? It's all going to be a matter of a, a discussion in the Gemara to understand um, how to get across. Now, obviously, not every valley, not every uh, hole in the ground, not every crevice is going to be exactly the same. And so uh, it, the Gemara is going to give us multiple uh, versions of how you're going to measure in order to be able to understand the, the, uh, um, the concepts that in the Mishnah of getting across inclines. So they're essentially going to be uh, three measures of how steep this incline is. We can have an incline that is uh, like a cliff. It's straight down. And that's called that ein chuta mashkolis yorid connected. That if you had a, uh, a weighted rope and the weight is at the bottom, in other words, you, that's what they would use to measure the, 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 um, how steep something is. So if it, the weight was hanging down and it would not protrude, and the wall of the, of the cliff does not protrude out uh, for um, uh, four amos, about six feet from where you're standing now, a plumb line. That's right, John. So if you're using a plumb line, so it, 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 this weight that is essentially gives you the distance of how far the, the uh, incline is, if it doesn't come out four amos it, within uh, um, the plumb line, so that tells you it's a really steep cliff. You just ignore, and we'll see in the Gemara there, you just ignore the cliff and you start at the bottom where it's flat again, because that's a real steep incline. Um, th there's a very shallow incline, which um, which uh, uh, is in the distance of five ama. It only goes up ten tefachim. Five ama being about uh, seven and a half feet, eight feet. Uh, it only goes up ten tefachim, about 30, 35 inches. So that's a that's a easy uh, um, incline that you can. Uh, you can get across. We're going to have two versions of Gemara of how to measure that. However, what we have uh, in between that are uh, inclines that are steeper than uh, it, 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 it go up or down 10 to Fahim within four amas. So that's not easy to, to, to climb or climb down. Uh, not typical for people to walk that. And uh, um, uh, but however, it, it, does, it, is, it, it is a surface that people climb. It, it's not just a cliff that, that you can ignore. And that's what we're going to have measures, uh, measurements of how to get across that. Um, and we're going to try not to use the, uh, the, both the distance and uh, uh, the elevation or drop, but rather just to keep it uh, the distance itself. So in our mission, it says, he was measuring, and he got to he got to a, uh, a either a wall, a collapsed wall, which is now a protrusion that has to a hill that has to be climbed, or you get to a a, a crevice in the ground, a, a hole in the ground. <clears throat> now, since it says in the Mishnah he would get back to his measuring, which means to tell you that if it's if the across this canyon or crevice. It's is longer than 50, so he can't just use a 50 amma rope across this, this uh, gap. So what he's going to do is going to go off to the side where the gap is narrower, um, take the 50 measurement, take two 50s, so that he can pull it back in and and continue his and continue his um, uh, his measure. So let's say the this this town is you know two miles wide. Okay, so it's two miles wide and on the north, and he wants to measure the trum on the north side. So he comes from the center of the north, and he's measuring uh, at a thousand amma. He hits this uh, canyon, uh, so it, it's too wide to get to where to get across with a fifty amma um, rope. So he goes off 
I don't know, a, a, um, to uh, a mile and a half off of the city, uh, away from directly across the city, even off it, with, but as long as it's within the Tachum, within 2000 Amma, off of the city to the east, and there he finds an, an area that's narrower than, uh, uh, than uh, the 50 Amma. So now he can measure with 50. So he's going to go off in a straight line across there to that area, then measure 50 across the other side. He's going to have to measure another 50 because he needs to get to where it's where it's wider and uh, and then come back in to the area that uh, that is uh, that that's directly across the center of the city. And then he can uh, continue his line. He goes to where he can go cross with a 50 ama line and does so. But Sefer Kanagami does say, and then he measure, then he, he eyeballs it back to a straight line to where it would be directly across where he's measuring. And then he continues in his measuring system straight across. So this teaches like the Rabbanan taught. Yeah. He was measuring, and the measuring stick or the rope got to a place that is a, a, a valley. So what's he going to do? Um, if he can measure it um, in in a rope that's that's fifty ama. Uh, Fine. So it just goes across the line with a 50 ama rope. Vimlav. However, if you cannot do so, so he goes off to the side to where a pl- to a place that it's narrower that he can go across. Umavliya, and then he goes across. and then he eyeballs it back to where the uh, the line was. and he goes back to his measure. Or ukum. So there are two versions of Rashi. We're going to go with the second version of Rashi. If this this uh, uh, crevice, this this canyon, whatever it may be, actually curves around the city. So it's on the uh, western side of the city and the northern side of the city. So you can't just go off to the side because it actually curves. So there is going to go down the incline and up the other side of the incline in this, ma- in this manner, which we mentioned in the Mishnah called Mekadrin, which is that you have uh, a, a four ama rope and um, it's held against one, the, the, the uh, lower person's chest and the upper person's uh, feet. And this way you can try and keep it um, level and uh, measure uh, the, the incline at four ama increments this way, hopefully, you're getting uh, you're getting just the distance and not the incline. Higal akaisel. Similarly, if you get to a wall, so We don't say to make a hole through the wall. Rather, he just uh, estimates. He guesstimates really the the measure, the distance, and he goes. So Gemara says, wait, but we learned that a collapsed wall. You you do the same system of of just keep, keeping the fifty armor rope directly across it, or you go off to the side and you measure. Mechazam doesn't go back to where, and then you go back to your straight line. Depends if it's easily easy to to climb over this wall, this collapsed wall. So it's a pile of rubble, and you could climb over it. Um, uh, easy meaning it's somewhat uh, doable. Um, such as that it go that it it, it only climbs ten to fachim within four amas. So then you just use the the rope off to the side. However, but but if it is steeper than that, so it's really not easy to climb over this pile of rubble. Um, uh, there you just uh, there you're just gonna eyeball it. And you're just going to guesstimate the distance. Amrav Yudam Ashmur. Rav Yudam Ashmur said, Leishanu, 
this that we're talking about, uh, the distance of the wall, of, of the incline, of, of, the, of the hole in the ground, or this pile of rubble uh, from a fallen wall, all this is all talking about that it actually um, is, is uh, enough of an angle that you could climb it. It's not a cliff. However, if it's a cliff where the plumb line, this weighted ball, is such that it would not protrude four amas in the in the drop of the ball. Uh, that's only if the chuta meshkolas, this weighted ball on a rope, uh, which which builders use to tell you that a wall is flush, it's it's plumb, um, uh, that doesn't come out four amas. Now we turn to Nunchas Samad Beis. However, Ava Chuta Meshkol is Yerik and But if the if the wall, uh, um, uh, if the rope meaning goes down straight and it doesn't protrude four amas, Modede Medifa Medide Yafa, he will just go and ignore the incline, ignore the, the the cliff because after all, it's not really four amas, so he'll just ignore that and. So even though he's up here on on flat ground, and then there's this uh, cliff, and then that's and then the the canyon floor, he's just going to go down to the canyon floor and measure from there, or the ditch floor and measure there, and he's going to ignore the wall, even the wall the wall comes out somewhat, that he can ignore since it's such a steep uh, steep wall that it doesn't protrude four amas from the top of the cliff outward, so therefore you can just ignore it. You go. You can use the the, the 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 flat ground that you measured up until here. It skip the wall, the the uh, cliff wall, and just measure the bottom. Continue m- measuring from there. Vakama and Kushalge. And how deep can this be that you can just um, use a fifty ama rope across it? That we said in the Mishnah that you're going to just ignore the entire canyon valley uh, ditch and just go straight across it. It could even be uh, 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 um, 2,000 ama deep. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, um, not more than that, but it could be 2,000. Uh, if it's any more than that, then you're going to have to uh, actually use this measure, the, this system of makader of four ama uh, increments with uh, somebody going down and holding the rope by their chest to the feet of the other, etc. Eseve Abaye. So Abaye challenge said 2,000? We have a b'risa that says that it can be 100. They say Abaye, Amak kuf v'rechev nun mavliye. If it's 100 deep and 50 wide, then you can uh, absorb it, meaning you can just use this 50 amar rope on the cross and, and, and count, uh, count it as a straight line. If not, you have to actually go down with these four ama increments. The Amar says, actually, it's a machlokas. And who the Amar kacherim, and he follows opinion of acherim, which is usually Rabbi Meir. The Tanya acherim omrim. Others say, Afila omek alpayim v'rochav nun mavli. Rabbi Meir says that uh, it can even be uh, two thousand ama deep and fifty wide, and it's going to be sufficient to just use a fifty ama rope across from one edge of the canyon to the other, and that's sufficient to uh, count the measure, uh, and you don't have to use any of the incline. Ika the Amri, that those are the same of Yesim Alpayim, not uh, up to 2,000, but even more than 2,000 deep. Come on, the look at that, come on, the look at Acherim. And this would be like neither of these two opinions. It would not go any, uh, 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 and like Rabbi Meir has said, up to 2,000, and not like the first opinion that says up to 100, it can be even uh, deeper than that. Um, the the, uh, the um, Gemara says it's true that this would be like neither of those opinions, but he's talking about something else. He's not talking about the where where it actually goes in a somewhat steep, uh, somewhat uh, uh, gradual incline into this canyon of two thousand ama, but he's talking about a, a, a incline where that's that's a cliff, a canyon that's actually a straight down cliff. There, 
the 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 it, the protrusion of the wall of this of this uh, cliff uh, of uh, um, of this canyon does not come out gradually. So you don't have so you, your plumb line is actually in the two thousand ama. It it really is not going to come out four amas, and therefore you don't have to do it in inclines in increments. You just go straight across as long as you can um, you can get across. But uh, if if it actually has some gradual incline, then the maximum according to Rabbi Meir is going to be two thousand ama that you can just go straight across. And according to the um, uh, 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 the brisa that uh, that Rabbi had brought, it's a hundred ama. So if the uh, the plumb line would protrude, meaning that it does come out somewhat gradually, so then you do once it's above a hundred or two thousand ama deep, you're going to use the four ama increments and 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 try and get across without measuring any of the uh, elevation. Okay, so. Well, if it's just a steep cliff and the and the plumb line is not going to protrude any, meaning that that the wall of the cliff does not come out for Amos. So how deep can this go? That it can go uh, um, for um, uh, it, is, if it comes out four amos, that counts as the, uh, as the uh, sorry, the question was, how far out does the plumb line have to come in order for it to count that it's a gradual incline and uh, or somewhat gradual? And to that, both Avimi and Rami Bayecheskel uh, said and brought a brisa that it is four amos, as we've been saying, that the plumb, uh, the plumb line drops off from the, from the, uh, cl- the cliff uh, protruding wall is going to be four amos out. So if the the wall of the uh, if the plumb line is pushed out four amos uh, on 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 account of the wall dropping, that's going to count as uh, a enough of a gradual incline that you have to count uh, the the uh, uh, the uh, elev- the the wall itself. You're going to have to do four ama increments in order to get. In order to uh, to get to the bottom of the canyon and allow for uh, and allow for uh, um, the measuring that way, as opposed to just a fifty ama um, measure across. Uh, um, however, if you don't have four amas out, the plumb line falls straight. Then, then uh, you just even if it's more than two thousand amas deep, you're just going to ignore it and go straight across the the, the canyon, and it's efficient. If you get so a mountain, uh, the 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 um, the elevation of this mountain or this hill, Amarav Leshonel Bahara Mislakeit Yud Mitochdalit. This that it says that he can just ignore the incline and. He just takes a 50 amma, he goes off to the side and ignores the hill. And he just measures a 50 amma line straight. So basically the way the crow flies and not up and down this hill. That's only if it's really difficult to, uh, to, for people to actually walk this hill. Meaning that it, it, it's such a steep incline that it'll rise 10 tefachim within four amos. Now within a distance of, of uh, four amos. You, uh, uh, which is about six feet, it'll rise one and a half amos, uh, which is uh, um, uh, one and a half amos or, or, or a tenth fachim, which is about uh, 30, 35 inches. The incline for this is called tail amoslakit. Uh, it's known as a, a, a tail, a, a hillside hamoslakit that, that um, gradually goes up. And that's called, uh, and, and the the measure for that generally is uh, somewhere between a, a twenty three and twenty five degree angle. It depends on whether you're measuring the four amos on the incline or four amos straight ground, how far that that would go. In any case, 
that it's such a steep incline that it it, it rises for uh, it rises ten tefachim within a four ama distance. Aval bahara mislaket yud mitoch hey, but if it's not such a steep incline and it only rises ten tefachim within five uh, 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 within five amas, meaning that it is a less than twenty three degree angle incline. So then you would measure it, a regular measurement, meaning you're going to include the elevation as well. However, that's Rav's opinion, but Rav Huna, the son of Rabbi Nassan, he has that as a leniency, and he says the other way around. That when we say that Mavliya, when do you say that you can just go off to the side and measure straight line with 50 ama? Amar Rava, that Rava said, Lashanu ela bahara mislaket asar mitoy chamish. That's when it's a, 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 a regular measure of of uh, something that people can actually can't walk over this uh, pile of rubble or hillside, etc. Where it it, it, it it only rises ten fachim in more than four ama, in five ama or so. So it's a less than twenty three degree uh, incline. Avo. But if it's steeper than that, this pile of rubble, this hillside, uh, is going to be uh, steeper than uh, than than, uh, than than this. In other words, it, it rises ten tefachim within four amos. So that's a steep enough incline that you actually would not measure it with a fifty amma uh, um, line, but rather you would just you would just make a you would eyeball it. You would say, okay. My guesstimate is that uh, based on one of the measurements we've been doing, that this is about a, a 20 ama uh, distance, a pile of rubble, and you and you start counting from the other side of the pile of rubble, and 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 just guesstimate that particular measure. Uh, the um, So we now have, this is the end of this Gemara, we now have uh, multiple uh, um, um, measurements. We had one, which was this last one, that if you have a hillside, a, a, whole, a, a, a pile of rubble, which uh, is so steep that it rises 10 tefachim within four amos, there, sorry, if it rises, it's not so steep, it rises 10 tefachim, but only in five amos distance. So there, the first opinion says, that uh, you're going to measure it as because people can climb over it, so you're going to measure the incline as well. The second opinion said, uh, and that's the Allah, that no, we don't measure that. That's where you use a 50 amma line and you ignore the hillside. The uh, if it rises and or drops in a steeper uh, way, where it it rises five amma um, ten tefachim within four amma, or drops ten tefachim within four amma, so there you're going to eyeball it in such a small uh, pi- uh, uh, pile of rubble and you're just going to say okay I guesstimate that this is uh, that, that this is you know 20 amas and and then go and continue from the other side if you have uh, uh, a, a hole in the ground or, or an incline that's um, steeper than that and it's only 50 uh, and you can get across with a 50 ama so then you're going to measure it that way if if it's a cliff like, so then you go uh, uh, where the plumb line doesn't come out for four, four amos. So then you can just ignore the the wall itself and just continue at the next flat plane, which is you go you measure up to the cliff edge and then you go down and you measure on the bottom of that and then when it goes back up you can ignore it as well if the if it doesn't protrude four amos and continue on the other side. As long as it doesn't go out of the Tachum, uh, which is the 2,000 Amas of the city. Essentially, what, the way we explained that was, so if the, the village or city itself is two, two miles wide, and the only place that you can, ma- ca- that you can uh, uh, measure the, the gap of the, uh, of the uh, cliff, or the, of the canyon or the ditch, where, one, where it's narrow enough that it's a 50 Amma gap, 
is off to the side of the city, to the east or west of the city. So you can do that as long as it's within 2,000 amma at the chum off to the side of the city. What's the reason? Why can you only do it there? Why can't you do it any further and then come back in as well? In my time, people may say, I remember the measurement of the city being done right over here. So that means it's within the Tachum Shabbos. I can walk there. And since it's not because it's too far off to the east or to the west, uh, we're talking about measuring the north side of the city and you get to this ditch and you're going to then go off to the east to measure the gap um, uh, farther off than the, the, uh, than the city measurement itself. What's going to end up happening is that you're going to uh, uh, you're not going to be able to, um, uh, people are going to think that that's within the Tachum Shabbos. The Gemara says further, uh, if you cannot do so, then you then you do Makadrin, then you do the four Alma increments. Tanarabana, case of Makadrin. So how do you do this? The lower person has the rope at his chest. El Yon Kenegam And the upper person has it at his feet. And this way, you try not to get the, you keep the rope as flat as you can and not get any of the incline. And the is that you use a four ama rope. Rabbi Nachman said in the name of Rabbi Barabu, the reason we can do this here is on account of all these measurements where we're, we're really ignoring the incline is uh, it, because it's rabbinic. And since it's rabbinic, the Chachamim were lenient and, 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 and allowed us to ignore the incline. However, when measuring Torah distances, such as by Egla Arufa, when there was a murder uh, found outside of a city and you have to measure to the closest city, or by Ari Mikla, by, by um, uh, cities of refuge, where the Allah is that the, the uh, manslaughter is allowed uh, uh, refuge in that city and also in the Tachum of that city, 2,000 amounts of the city, those measurements are Torah measurements and there the, the distance is measured by actual or, or, or this type of distance and the incline is included in that measure. And so you don't use this 